Hello guys, Jeffrey speaking here. So today I would like to do a review of the Logitech Setpoint software which I use to remap and customize my wireless gaming mouse G700. As you can see on the top left hand side of this software, you will have a back button and home button. In the middle you will have a setpoint options. On your right hand side, you display all the Logitech device that you have. And for me, I only have the wireless gaming mouse G700. So let us proceed by clicking the icon here. After clicking the icon, it will direct you to another windows which show the wireless gaming mouse G700 on your top left hand side. Below that, you will see an icon for the battery life and also profile. So by default, you will have three profiles that is gaming, general and productivity. But I have created another one under my name, Jeffrey1987. So how to create is really easy. You just have to go to create new profile and click on it. It will pop up another window which you only have to type in your profile name and click OK. So uh, under each profile you will have 8 subcategories that is overview, basics, buttons and etc. Besides that you will have device options and set point options. On your right hand side is the details and info of each subcategories that you have click for example if I click on basics it will show the details and info of basics so for this demonstration purpose I will show to you guys under overview why do I choose overview because I can change everything that I want to customize for my mouse under this overview first of all you see basics on the basics it will has uh, profile name, onboard memory, and assigned applications. So click on edit if you want to customize it. So for the profile name, for example here, I choose uh, general profile. And the second will be the profile description. The third will onboard memory. So by default, it will start the general profile under profile number one. So if you want to edit it, you just have to click on the edit. For example, as you can see here, the LED position, when you have one orange LED, it means that you are under general profile. Sec uh, two LED means that you are under gaming profile. But if you want to change the position, you just have to click move down and move up. It's as easy as that. So uh, for the applications assigned, by default, uh, there's, there are no applications assigned to uh, to another profiles but you can edit it for example under productivity you can add applications that you want and as simple as that next I would like to talk about the buttons as you can see it has 13 programmable buttons for example left click right click and etc so if you want, if you want to edit the buttons you just have to click on the edit button and for example this is button number one which is the left click it will show to you guys where is the position of button number one on this mouse and also for example uh, button number six it will also show to you guys where is the position of this G6 key on this mouse and you can select the task you want to assign to this button too you can for example by default it's generic button but you can use it for page up or page down and etc and also it has a task description here next I would like to talk about the pointer so as you can see uh, it has three sections here which uh, the first one would be the DPI sensitivity levels so it has five number of DPI levels and you can set the X and Y axis separately but in my case I would like to only set the X axis so as you can see the range of the DPI levels is from 200 to 5700 the second is the pointer movement settings I use the OS native drivers for pointer speed and acceleration and I also enable the angle snapping so what does it mean by enable angle snapping aka prediction or correction could assist you in drawing straight lines other gaming manufacturers also have this feature in their high-end gaming mouse for example steel series would call it as a free move and razor drift control which also carries the same meaning and last but not least the report rate so for the general, by default is 500 reports per second. But if you want to go to, go to some serious gaming, 
I would advise to go for 1000 reports per second uh, but you must bear in mind that if you use the 1000 reports per second the battery life would reduce uh, significantly after that I will show you guys the scrolling so for the scrolling it has a vertical scrolling speed and also the horizontal scrolling speed as for the battery first it will indicate your battery life so uh, as you can see here my battery is full and you can also notify you when the battery life is low uh, by ticking this uh, box so for the power mode uh, for the general profile I use the power saver for a standard battery life but you can choose uh, max gaming as well as normal gaming as for the profile manager as you can see it has uh, profile switching uh, I would like to use uh, switch profiles myself using mouse buttons means that you just have to change it uh, by clicking the um, profile changer so as you can see the onboard memory 1 LED means general 2 LEDs means gaming and 3 orange LED means productivity but you can move down and up with this thing as for the uh, switch profile automatically using application detection I have um, you can add the applications as well as remove the applications that you have added before this and for as you can see here I have created a new profile under my name this is Jeffrey1987 but of course you can duplicate or export and of course for example I would like to demo here is how to delete it you just have to select it and delete and that's all so for the macro manager it has a recording options on the, on the right and macro type also so this one you can have a look as for the device options it stated the firmware updates for example my version is 22.35 you can check for the updates and you can also restore the, the profiles for example general gaming and productivity here and you can acquire some product online help and also online support for the Logitech last but not least is the set point options is uh, it will indicate the set point version and also the driver version so uh, that's all for the review today uh, please remember to subscribe to my channel for more videos and don't forget to thumbs up if you like my video and don't and thumbs down if you do not like my video and ciao